Hello everyone. I believe I have made one or more videos about my marriage problem. Or maybe I shouldn't say marriage problems. I found out my wife was scamming me. And not to blame everything on her. I did some things that God would not be pleased of. She did some things that God would not be pleased of as well. But scamming, but scamming someone, that is out the boundary lines. When you think of things that are out the boundary lines, you may think of cheating, you may think of this, you may think of that. But stealing money from a person, like I believe she made up situations that I believe she made up situations and tried to make it seem like in an emergency for me to have to send the money now. I believe some of those situations she made it in that type of way. Like it is an emergency, you have to send money now. And I believe a lot of that was scams. I believe a lot of that is scams. And I am telling you this, not so much, not to make her look bad, no. Like, I would say this is like my journal because some people, well, let me say it in this way. This video is to not make her look bad. It is like my journal because I believe some people are going through marriage problems as well. Maybe your husband did this to you. Maybe your wife did that to you. And you may feel so discouraged. You may feel like there is no hope. And I am telling you. Now, don't get me wrong. I was not feeling too great. Before. And sometimes when I get better, some thoughts may come to my mind. And I may feel bad again for a time but I am trying to hold on God I am asking him to heal me emotionally I want those negative thoughts to come out of my mind I believe what is trying to happen is for me to hate my wife which I am not going to hate her I am not going to get revenge, find another woman, and sleep with her, and show her not to mess with me. That is mess. That is mess. I am not going to do that. I am not going to retaliate in a bad way. No way. Or should I say, or should I say I'm not going to retaliate in that type of way? cheating and doing mess like that no i am going to keep seeking god i'm going to keep on praying i may have to fast um i'm going to try to stay positive and continue to ask god to help me because without god i am weak i can't do it alone like I said, this video is to not make my wife look bad. This video, I am making it for an encouragement for people who may be having marriage problems now. So, yes, I was feeling hurt before. And when some thoughts were coming to my mind, I was feeling hurt and stuff like that. But I feel pretty much fine right now. I believe demons are trying to get me to dwell upon what happened and keep me in that place, if you understand what I mean. But I am not going to stay in that frame of mind. I am going to keep moving forward in God. I am going to try to stay positive. I will try to keep on being loving and... Uh, can't really think of the word. I am going to keep being loving towards people. Um, 
you know, I believe a thought came to my mind. Maybe you should um, be hard and not give it. Maybe, yeah, I think a thought like that came to my mind. But no, I am not going to do that because I believe. I believe if you are trying to reach people with the word of God. Some people may think, you know, it's all about teaching, you know, as long as you know what you are talking about, you know, you can get people to come to God. And that may slightly be true. Ultimately, I believe it's the Holy Spirit. If I am saying that correctly, and I may not be saying it, is it the Father or the Holy Spirit? Let me see. I think it says someone. Huh, let me see. Okay, let's go to John chapter 6, verse 44. No man, hold on. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. So, the point I am trying to make, knowing scriptures and how to teach is one thing, but I believe what many people need is love, is compassion. What good is my words of teaching if I have no love? Like, let's say I can teach really well, and let's say I can, but what good is it if I don't love? If I am so mean and aggressive and hateful, like, no, you need love. You need to love people. And I believe my love for people is growing and growing. But at the same time, I get taken advantage of. So I guess you have to take the good with the bad. I am not going to. I want to become more like Jesus Christ. I want to elevate higher in Jesus Christ. And I believe the way to get there is to be one of the ways. How can I say this? I believe the way to do all that, I need to be able to love more. Jesus Christ is love. I believe he is love. So how can I be more like Jesus Christ if I am just hard and and aggressive and you know like this very intimidating person and stuff like that no i don't want to be that way so knowing how to teach is one thing but you need love i believe there's a scripture maybe i should not be quoting scriptures without reading them. <laughs> but i believe it says something about let me do it anyway i believe it says something about let me not do it <laughs> something about love I don't know I could look up the scripture but let me just keep it at that may God bless you